guys, how's it going? My name is Garrett, welcome to the channel. I just wanted to show you guys uh, something Julie and I recently purchased and that is uh, this pretty sweet rooftop tent trailer or off-road trailer. Um, just wanted to give a little rundown on how we have it set up and maybe this is the route you want to go. So, if you just want to jump to the walkthrough of the trailer, you can go to this timestamp. But before that, I do want to give a few reasons on why we decided to uh, move to this. All right, guys, so some of the reasons why we ended up with a trailer was because I wanted to get the rooftop tent off of the truck. I'm having to haul something that was larger than uh, the available space underneath the rooftop tent that would have required me to haul a trailer or take the tent off with the rack and that would have required me to call up a friend and it would just have been super cumbersome and unnecessary so having a solution to where I can have the tent mounted on something permanently was uh, uh, it, it it just seemed like the right move but the second part was because when you go camping you have a rack everything is open to the elements so if it rains or snows or if you live in the southwest and it's super dusty all your stuff's gonna get dirty and because this is enclosed having everything in here uh, away from the elements is awesome and because uh, we did have stuff open to the elements back here it is open to theft so if you stop at a gas station or you stop at a restaurant on the way back from camping security is an issue because realistically all a thief has to do is open up the tailgate and uh, load all of your stuff into their vehicle and drive off so security is uh, was uh, something that I wanted to address and luckily this uh, trailer is lockable uh, with these things the last reason why we moved over to a trailer was to have everything uh, stored in one spot. So all of our stuff is basically in here. Realistically, all we need to pack up now is a cooler, our propane tank, our, our clothes, and our water jugs. Super easy, something that we can do in less than an hour and we're off on the road to go camping. So because we have this, I think it'll make this next year's camping season something to look forward to. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna do a walkthrough of the trailer. So I'm gonna get camps, uh, camp set up and then I'll be right back. All right, so I set up as best as I could. It is really windy right now. So I did not open up the tents. I did open up both awnings. So let's uh, let's get started on this walkthrough. This trailer is a homemade trailer that I scored off of Marketplace, and I think it's pretty sweet looking. Uh, my dad nicknamed it the Mad Max trailer. I think it's pretty fitting. It's got the knobby tires. It's all painted blackish. I I repainted it, um, but yeah, it was it came like Rhino lines. Um, it wasn't done very well. There was some separation here But I went through and I went and flex pasted each and every gap on it and Then I hit it with some hammered paint that I got from Home Depot and hopefully that uh, Will seal it pretty well um, the uh, exterior has Let's see, where should I start? Let's just start up front. So it accepts a two inch ball. Um, I upgraded the chains. It had little, little tiny little chains. Um, I did get a little stabilizer sway kit, whatever. Um, it connects from here to here and it helps with trailer sway. It is a short trailer, so. And also top heavy and single axle. So I just threw that on there just to be safe. Coming back here, we do have a full-size spare, 15 inch wheels, and it is sitting on 235, 75, 15s. These tires are pretty crazy for a trailer. Um, and we do have a little mesh, um, wire mesh, or metal mesh, whatever, I don't know what to call it, um, welded on there, so that's pretty nice. I might put a tongue box here, but it is, uh, you can tie whatever you want, propane bottle, uh, cooler, all that good stuff. 
does have a solar panel up front um, and I do have my shovel mounted there and then coming around it does have some metal flares here that I'm able to stand on which is nice if I do need to get taller than this stool here coming underneath here it is on 2000 uh, a 2000 pound axle and there are some wheel spacers on there and then as far as the roof rack goes it is has some carriage bolts going through and bolts on to the inside and I have the tent mounted on there along with both awnings um, it does have LED lighting super bright super nice and it does have little markers on the side it's pretty cool as far as the tongue jack I have this guy here super heavy-duty super nice So that is pretty much it for the exterior. Oh, let's see. I did install these scissor jacks here. Scored them off of Amazon. I couldn't mount them to the rear. So I got these ones. They're made for RV slide outs, but I found that it fits the frame. So. I have not used them yet, and I will see how they do. So, moving along here, this is the trusty old Iron Man awning. It is about six and a half feet, six foot by eight foot. And then coming in here, we have two shelves this is basically the first thing that i'll open i have all my wheel chocks in here i have all my stabilizer jacks and then i have my leveling blocks back there um, and then this is just basically my tote that holds basically everything that we may need right away like a first aid kit, extra gloves, um, other miscellaneous things. And each door does have a lockable handle. Super cool. Um, on this side, we do have two brackets here that uh, I can put a table on. So it'll sit something like that. And I'll show you guys that table. So coming to the rear, this is the table I was talking about. It connects with this bracket and it's about four feet long by about like, I don't know, 16 inches, 14 inches, not really sure. <laughs> and this does have a shelf here. All of this like long stuff. I am able to put an easy up all the way back, uh, but because I have these awnings, I don't need an easy up. But I have like a cam shower here, all of our chairs, tables, have another table right there, tote with like blankets and stuff, and then all of my cooking totes back there, trash can, um, just other mis miscellaneous stuff. Do have lights here. So yeah, that is the main compartment, holds the bulk of the stuff. And I have this other awning mounted up. Looks kind of janky. <laughs> but this awning is, I believe, about four by six. Um, so, yeah, pretty cool. I do have lights on both sides here. Pretty cool. This houses the battery. Have an inverter to, you know, charge stuff. Has a controller here. And then these are the main switches for everything. And then that is all powered by this battery. I don't have any knowledge on solar panel, <laughs> solar power stuff, so I will need to get up or get knowledgeable on that stuff. Um, but yeah, that this is the trailer. 
the Mad Max trailer. So. All right guys, so that is the new Rooftop 10 trailer. I hope that you guys like it. We're super excited to take it out this year. If you have any questions about it, um, I probably did miss some stuff doing the walkthrough. Um, it is super windy, so I'm trying to get out of here as quick as I can. But I tried to get a good video for you guys. Again, if you guys want to know more about this stuff, um, please don't hesitate to comment below and uh, maybe I can make another video on this, uh, more in-depth and in-detail video. Um, but until then, I hope you guys have a great day and thanks for watching.